Hey guys, welcome to Top Cat's Lair, a different area of the house. Uh, anyway, I uh, just heard that Anna Paquin's not, uh, be well, she's in uh, the new X-Men movie, Days of Future Past, where they have both the old X-Men and the new X-Men. There's so many characters, so many um, mutants, but done right, not like X3. Where there was, like, heaps of mutants, but, like, there were, like, hardly any variety in powers. So, uh, and it just didn't work. So, uh, Brian Singer has brought on the, uh, Riders of X2, uh, which is pretty cool. Because X2 is my favourite to date X-Men movie. Um... I loved the Wolverines, so uh, it's I'm I'm psyched about uh, the X Men Days of Future Past. But Anna Paquin's edited out of the movie. Um, I can only think that I mean it's Brian Singer; he knows what he's doing. Uh, so I can only think that it's just she wasn't integral to the plot. It was a pacing issue. Um, darlings need to be cut, as they say. Um, hopefully we get an extended edition, because I'm a fan, I'll eat it up. And I'm a fan of, uh, Anna Paquin's, and I, I reckon, uh, it's, it's sad, because she, she was such an integral part of the original X-Men trilogy. Um, especially the first one. And, uh, it'd be a shame to... See her get edited out of the movie? I don't know why. Uh, I haven't really heard why this is happening. Um, but my thoughts on it are... It must be for pacing or story or whatever. Uh, just to keep the movie flowing. But... To me, this sounds like a really bad financial decision. If I was a producer at Fox, I'd be like... Oh, wow... That's like a whole heap of people that are True Blood fans that have never seen an X-Men movie in their lives that are not going to see this movie because she's not in it or she's her role is significantly cut down. Um that's a shame. That's a shame. Thought I'd uh thought I'd talk about that. And I've got another video on the way. It's a bit longer. I'm going to edit it down. Because, uh, you guys, the three or so people that watch my videos, uh, don't want to be stuck looking at my mug forever. Anyway, that's, uh, that's my news, that's my thoughts. Have a good one.